Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. I just woke up myself. So today I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the SSF start. So it's been about, I think, three weeks of the POE League, somewhere around there. And uh, pretty happy with what I've accomplished in Trade League. Hit level 100. Can always min-max the character further, but I'm pretty bored of trading, so now it's time to restart. So, um... Essentially, this go around in SSF, instead of me playing the typical Jug or the Inquisitor, I'm going to go ahead and try out Chieftain. Now, there's a couple reasons why. Number one, with the nerf to influence drop rates on bosses and, you know, more specifically like Guardians, it's going to be a little bit more annoying to get like a Shaper Shield online for Inquisitor. I, for me, I don't really think it's too big of a deal. Number two, Chieftain completely got reworked in the patch and most people don't really like it, right? On paper... It's not super good, but it does have some, like, uh, advantages, I guess you could say. So number one, Sallow Cleansing Water. We're going to be using um, Fire Resistance to basically overcap everything. It has two advantages. Number one, by us looking out for Fire Res everywhere, right? Uh, this makes the gearing process much easier in terms of resistances. Although I will be honest, this is not really something most experienced players maybe uh, have trouble with however it still makes chaos resistance uh easier to gear for in general um which is never a bad thing right at least in my opinion so this is actually what i potentially plan to grab for my normal lab if not then i'm probably grabbing a ramako sunlight for uh, normal lab ramako sunlight makes it so nearby enemies have basically minus 20 fire res while you're stationary so if you can build your character to be tanky enough um, you know, you do have the ability to have a pretty decent damage chunk on bosses. The biggest thing I can see about Ramako Sunlight is when you are progressing and you have maps or map mods like mobs get endurance charges, mobs steal your endurance charges, monsters have bonus Ellie res, the Arc Nemesis fire and ignite uh, bonus. I'm hoping that, you know, in the short amount of time it takes to stand still and cast my new curse, which would be punishment, to make mobs take increased damage and like throw a fire trap, the pack will just die. I don't know if that's how it's actually gonna be in reality, but Ramako Sunlight means I don't need to look for exposure gloves early on. Um, it means I don't have to worry about using flammability, instead we get punishment. It means we don't really have to worry about gearing into all the minus res. However, this does nerf your damage a lot late game because you don't have that extra way of scaling. But we're not worried about that. We're worried about just getting our, you know, SSF account set up, right? Our our, uh, our wealth, as, as I uh, like to say. And Hinakora's Death Fury actually looks like a very strong node for farming Expedition. So with the new change to Expedition having the one big pop that you can place on the floor, right? Um, I can find Hinakora's Death Fury to be pretty good. Just need a source of Prolif. And I think 5% is not... The ideal number, but 5% with like a couple explode tattoos or even... How much is the Fire Mastery? The Fire Mastery is 3% chance. I don't really like it because it's only a tenth. I mean, a tenth is still enough, but we'll, we'll see. If I have absolutely nothing, I mean, I'm sure that 8% explode is enough for uh, that type of content. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't actually have a tree for Chieftain. I think that's going to be the fun. It's kind of building the character up. One of the other things to talk about is... Chieftain's recovery does not really exist um, in, in terms of like just looking at it. The recovery, I would say, comes from your Volaco Storm Embrace. So being like the typical Jug version uh, during progression or even Inquisitor, I think you're going to have like between 80 and 82 max res. Chieftain should be like 88 to 90 at all times. So that max res bonus there... The difference between them should hopefully make up a lot of the uh, missing regeneration. And then the overstacking fire res with Sallow should probably add towards another like 200 flat regen because of the fire mastery for a one life regen per one capped on fire res. Okay, so moving on a little bit more, uh, I want to talk about my Atlas here. So I actually want to try some some things that are a little different this go away. No, no I don't want to suddenly take a go away, please. So normally um, I would progress... Well, I guess just in general, I, I've changed things a little bit, so I'll just talk about this. So I want to try out a full Kirak strategy for SSF this go. Normally, I would never do this, but I'm just curious. You know, I just want to try something out. So the advantages of Kirak early, I'd say, is because I'm not doing the standard wandering path for like ping-ponging maps for Atlas completion, I'm going to rely on my Kirak map completion chance to just get Kirak missions to then use influence scouting reports to then complete my maps. 
I'm also going to try to leave some maps uncompleted that I know can give good divination cards. Like, say, um, maybe cells for an early six link. Or actually, now that I think about it, there's one that gives a guaranteed six link astral plate. That would actually be a really sick start on the Chieftain. Although I think I might want to aim towards Lightning Coil anyway. So I I'm not really sure. We'll figure that part out later. Um, but yeah, it's got basically like, for the most part, full expedition. Interestingly enough, I'm not taking this one here because I don't really run logbooks in SSF because they don't really have much desire to. Um, so I'm not touching this. And then it's got the standard, like, I have uh, map sustain nodes, so I've got like one, two, three here. And then I've got all of this and this one right here. So I'm just missing mainly the one up here. And then I've got betrayal. Um, betrayal primarily to get my unveils. Um, as unveils are very important whenever you play SSF. Um, yeah, moving on. Speaking about unveils, a little bit of a flashbang here. I have a goal sheet for you guys. So previously I had one that looked like this. Uh, I kind of updated a little bit. So the 3.2 one you can kind of see right here. So I've got like bosses killed. I'll be filling out a check mark when we get there. Crafting in gems, some unique items that are cool for the build. Fractured bases, I don't know if I'm going to end up filling this one out. Bonus stuff doesn't really matter. And then down here we got some chase items. These are the unveils I like to aim for. Uh, I'll put some tattoos I'm trying to get, and then we'll do the YouTube progress videos. I might actually just move this down and then do like intro video and then put it like right here. Yeah, I hope you guys like this. This can help you guys kind of follow along. Not everything in here is like mandatory to get by any means, right? A lot of this is just stuff I want to find for testing or potentially even other builds uh, you can see over here i definitely want to play a non-rf build to maybe even level 100 this go around but we'll see anyway that's pretty much about it so hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves hope you guys have been really enjoying the rf inquisitor and jug this go around i had a lot of fun with mine but now it's time to go to ssf and try out something new so catch you guys all later thanks for watching everybody